The UK is currently experiencing what is being called a cost of living crisis. So the cost of living is soaring. Things like petrol, food and energy, the prices are going way up. So it's more pertinent than ever to do one of these cheapest food in vlogs. And today we're at Tesco. Hello everyone, welcome to Shopping Vlogs here on Food Review UK. So yeah, we've done this before at like discount retailers and we've done B&M and QD and stuff. Uh, now, as I said in that intro, everyone is feeling the pinch. So I think we're gonna, it's gonna be a really interesting video, seeing what the actual cheapest items you can buy are. Maybe seeing what, like, what kind of meals you can cobble together. Cause we're all struggling. I know that we're all making sacrifices or most people are anyway, unless you're really privileged. Um, so yeah, this should be an interesting video. Let's go inside to Tesco and see what the cheapest items are. If you've not seen these videos before, they're gonna be sort of vlog, vlog style videos. So we're gonna be just looking at the awesome stuff. Uh, not just the cheapest items, we're going to be looking at interesting stuff as well guys. Uh, and on this occasion, as you can see from the car park, pretty quiet so I'm not going to be wearing a mask today. Let's go. First section I'm coming across is the meal deal section. Looks like all of the sort of crisps and snacks are the same price, which is 85p. Um, 80p, there's a new baseline, I'm sure there's going to be cheaper. I mean Yorkie there, 60p, some Kit Kat zebras. 60, yeah, okay, so 60 is sort of our current lowest. Um, definitely expecting to find lower than that. The kinds of products I'm expecting to see lower than this, like, are they gonna be like pasta and like pasta pots or like sachets of uh, like golden savory rice, all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, right, let's see. Also guys, should I count like fruit and veg? We'll, we'll definitely have a look. There's some off-brand Lego here called Dino by Block Tech. And these are the dinosaurs. Hmm. Okay. Something that I very quickly want to mention, obviously I started this video talking about the cost of living crisis. This isn't an entire, this isn't going to be an entirely serious video guys. We are going to be looking at the fun products as well. And yeah, I'm just bearing in mind the cost of living angle, because I think it's important to mention it in this type of video. Uh, where we are at the moment usually when i've done these videos it's been uh, a bit of fun and stuff so i want to keep a little bit of that with it guys so yeah i've arrived at the fruit and veg um carrots here 39p interestingly it says that's price matched with aldi um i think that might actually be our cheapest item so far so carrots 39p parsnips also 39p for a smallish bag uh imperfect ones actually what's the difference here Perfectly imperfect, 500 grams, 39p. Oh, there's just different different labels. So I guess Aldi have been swapping their prices around. Weird. Like, even if you just look at this sort of stuff, extra large cabbage, <laughs> so that's a cauliflower. Extra large cauliflower, uh, flour, brilliant. I can't even say it, uh, £1.90. Yeah, some of this stuff does definitely seem to be more expensive than you'd usually find. Um, I'd be interested to hear if you guys in the comments have experienced, uh, you know, a rise in prices in your food bill. Some premium vegetables there. Organic courgettes. That is per kilogram, by the way, the loose ones. Alright, what have we got in the old potato section? One pound for 1.25 kilograms of Maris Pipers. Makes me wonder if something like a vegetable soup would be a particularly cheap thing to make. Some King Edwards there for 83 pence. 79p club card price for bacon potatoes. Some baby potatoes there. Hmm. What about apples? What's the apple situation? God, look at that. 3.65 per kilogram. Pink ladies are 280. Roughly the same as I remember them being. Haven't bought pink ladies in a while to be fair. 90, oh here we go, 64p for some perfectly imperfect um, apples. Uh, they look pretty much all right to me, like a little bit small. Hope they're not fluffy. This is actually a newer product here, the haagen Gelato. I will go into the full-blown ice cream section to see if they've got anything interesting in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go into the bakery slash bread section now. I am expecting to find like some quite cheap loaves. There's 59p there for a farmhouse super seed. 50p for Danish bread. So it's 59p for like a large, what I would call like a fairly typical sort of family life. I guess wouldn't actually last that long. Obviously Claire and I are the only two living in our house. So we don't have a full family to think about, but yeah. 
Damn, man. Finger roll, 75p. Actually, yeah, finger roll, 79p for six. If you get a can of the hot dogs, that's like a pretty cheap meal. Obviously, I'm not saying it's super nutritious, but that's like not the most expensive meal, right? What are these here? Oh, Deli Bagels, New York Bakery Company, three grain sourdough. And there's also an everything flavor as well with poppy, poppy and sesame seeds, caramelized red onion and roasted garlic. I think I'm gonna grab the uh, free, the free grain. Why not? What have we got here? Six crumpets, 25p. That is really cheap. Um, yeah, that is actually the cheapest item I've found so far. So usually with these cheapest items videos, I do pick up the cheapest items. I do think we'll find cheaper than that, but I will bear it in mind and I'll come back and grab it if we don't. Otherwise here, 35p for white pitters. That seems pretty reasonable to me. Right, what is this aisle? There's a gluten-free section, which I'd usually expect to have a premium on them rather than being cheaper. And like sachets and stuff. So yeah, a lot of those, like Coleman's sachets are like 65p, um, which, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's not too bad, but obviously it's just some seasonings. It's not really going to help you that much. Um, yeah, tomato. I thought there might be like some cheaper tins of tomatoes. This is the, although this isn't exactly, this is like, what is it? I don't even know. Tomato sauces and stuff rather than specifically tinned tomato seeing premium price points at the moment. Uh, there's a cheap thing, 39p for a tomato and herb pasta sauce. Oh, I think they've actually moved the jellies. I'm sure they weren't usually here, or maybe I just don't come down this aisle often. Um, black, blueberry and blackcurrant there. There's a cherry bakewell tart, that sounds pretty nice. I've actually found the pasta as well, so 70p there. 70p for whole wheat. I don't think that's that cheap actually because that's not a particularly it's a big bag it's tricolor tricolor uh penne fusilli there three pound thirty for how big is that three kilograms hmm yeah honestly like this pasta is sort of looking a bit more expensive than i was expecting this frugo sounds interesting though wild punch i'm gonna try one of them for 60p Oh, a club card price Gresky there, 25p, that might, is that the cheapest thing I've found so far? Or is that joint with the crumpets? Oh, 20p. What is that? Yeah, 20p, Kakia, Kakia one, one ill and why? I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't know what it is. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you know about Kakia. 30p on some sesame bites, that's pretty good. And what is that? What's 20p? Is it those? Not sure. Oh, five for, is it five for 70p? Oh, that actually is cheap. Might actually grab them, 20p. Yeah, 20p for some biscuits. Um, I am gonna grab them because that is just straight up the cheapest thing I've found so far. We have got some absolutely classic Food Review UK products here. Ting, if you've not seen that video, absolutely bloody hilarious. <laughs> Likewise, KA Fruit Punch with the Gossie's Bane impression. Absolutely banging reviews, guys. Here we go, most expensive items in uh, Tesco. Uh, we got £12.50 club card price on that rice. That's actually a, a brand that I really like, Ak Akash. Akash Gold, I, I know I had to check the name, but I, I recognize the logo. Um, and then £19 there. Uh, obviously that's 10 kilograms, so work out the price per gram. Yeah, I thought, I thought this kind of thing might be cheap, actually. Yeah, cocoa noodles. 40p on that. We've actually got a load of them at the house. Quite like them. I bought in bulk. Um, and we've got the Maggie noodles are 30p. That seems pretty good to me. Also, it just, just caught my eye. Hot mango mint sauce. I reckon Nate might like that. Nate, get yourself down here. 90p club card. Also, some sachets of microwavable popcorn. 30p. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm still looking for that Krakala Crunch, whatever, Krakala Munch, is it? That new brand that's come out in the UK. Thought they'd be in that sort of area, but I can't see them there. Um, would love to try them. Right, so what, what's the, the, the amount to beat, guys? 20p. 
We're still looking for cheaper than 20p. I'm wondering what the hell we're going to find. This seems alright, 35p for microwavable rice um, pouches. That seems alright to me to be fair, in all different flavours. Back in the bakery bit, looking at this sweetie, the sweetie things now. What are those? 40, oh, 47p on the Mr. Molly's. Mr. Molly's, brilliant. Ms. Molly's. Uh, yeah, 47p. That seems pretty good because that's obviously like less than 10p each. I think, I think that's okay. Right, I'm now entering the refrigerated section, which I'm obviously not expecting to find anything like in the meat or whatnot. I mean, maybe in the yogurts, there might be like some really small yogurt pouches. Um, but yeah, probably gloss over the meat. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you can see my reflection. Uh, raw whole black tiger king prawns, seven pounds. But I grab that, obviously on the more expensive end. Uh, this would normally be the fish frozen aisle. I think I got a little bit of footage of this in the last Tesco vlog that I did, that madness at 12 a.m. or whatever it was. Uh, but yeah, we are fortunate to have a yo sushi section here. So again, guys, it's obviously not in consideration for the cheapest items, but it's interesting to look at. What have we got there? Korean fried chicken domburi. You can't get the best look at it in that tub, but um, I can obviously see slightly better in the flesh, and it does look very nice. Uh, in fact, just all this stuff looks really nice, to be fair. Very good product. I, saw, I mean, I did say there was nothing for the... Uh, nothing for the... Uh, cheapest video but i mean what how does this work because like is this just free like does it have a barcode what's the what's the deal on this just double checked i mean it definitely doesn't have a barcode i i, I mean i expect that the intention is that you can take as many as you want if you're buying some like sushi or whatever but it doesn't actually say so there's no barcode it doesn't say I'm sort of thinking it's free guys, now obviously I'm not going to take any, but it's not barcoded, doesn't have a price label. What are we supposed to think? I guess people do love cheese, so maybe, maybe it would be interesting to see what the cheapest sort of cheeses are. Uh, Creamfields Greek style salad cheese is one pound. Uh, Tesco's reduced uh, fat version is 75p. Again, price matched with Aldi. 70p for the normal Tesco mozzarella balls. However, the Creamfields one, which I guess is like their sort of like cheaper brand, 43p. Hello, little lonely mozzarella ball. What's your cheapest cheds? Cheapest cheds. We got one one pound seventy nine there for four hundred grams. I should really be looking at the price per kilogram, shouldn't I? Four pounds forty eight. Interesting. There's a cheaper block there, but it's just one pound sixty. I'm oh, sorry, I do apologize. Uh, Two ten on four hundred grams. Red Leicester. Fun story. Someone once told me that when I was younger and more stupid, someone told me that they were going off to play football. Now that part was true, they were going off to play football, but they told me that the team that they were playing, <laughs> they told me that the team they were playing was called Red Leicester, <laughs> and I totally believed them. I, at that point I'd never even heard of the cheese, so yeah. Relatively cheap yogurts here, 79p. Sunshine fruits garden fruits as opposed to those living room fruits that you sometimes get and berry medley. What have we got here? Cream fields, strawberry and berry yogurt pouches. They would have been 75p but oh is that them? No, I'm not sure. Maybe an empty shelf. Milk here, little pots of milk. 60p for the little ones. Uh, how much are the big ones? Are they? Oh, four points is £1.15. That seems pretty good to me to be fair. Right, squash, squash. Um, sustainable living. There's some metal straws there. Oh, what's this? What is that? Vimto no added sugar. What is that? That doesn't look familiar to me. Blackberry, raspberry and blueberry. 
I don't think I've seen that before, to be honest. And there's a cherry, cherry raspberry and black cone as well. Neither, neither of those ring a bell with me, to be honest. There's loads of flavours of, um, of Vimto now, isn't there? I don't know if those are, are those new? I've never seen them before, sure I haven't. There's a normal flavour. Like grape and blackcurrant and raspberry. That bloody delicious and unique taste, eh? What we got here? This one is new. Zingy lemon and raspberry, that sounds nice. Ooh, mini juice cartons. What we got, 90p? I think something was, something was 40p, but out of stock. Or 40, I should say 40-ish p. Oh, 59p for the little apple juices. Still all adds up though, doesn't it? For your little kiddies, uh, your little kiddies lunch box, eh? Hey? Oh, I can see you. I want you. I'm gonna put you in my basket, but you're too heavy to put in there yet. So I'm gonna come back for the drinks, guys. I'm not like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, am I? Not made of muscle. I think the, um, the crisps are currently being stocked and whatnot, so I can't see any, any crazy stockage here, but what we got? Oh, here we go. Here's some own brand um, crisps at the bottom, £1.15. Right, and now, ooh, look at that, peanut butter dark chocolate. Um, I'm now in the confectionery aisle. Uh, cereal bars have always been rather pricey, I would say. Full, oh, that's interesting, that's new. Full mix by Nature Valley. Chewy, crunchy, and creamy. Actually, sounds pretty nice, to be fair. What flavours are they? Cranberries, yeah, meh. Um, but, yeah, okay, so one interesting thing about this aisle, we are near the Mawam guys now. Mawam are finally releasing new flavours in the UK. Now they come out in like a month. They come out, or supposedly they come out on the 27th of April. So I'm not expecting to find them yet, but I am still going to bloody look for them. Party rings, 50p. We need to go cheaper. Right, we're in the Mawam section. I'm seeing just Mawam mix straight ahead. Is that the only Mawam they do? Really? Yeah, I thought they'd do a couple of Mawan products, but yeah, I can only see Mawan mixed there. Eww. Well, I, I mean, I told you that I was going to look. Somehow I still got my hopes up, even though I wasn't expecting to find them. Uh, oh, these are those new Kit Kat bites. They seem really weird to me, because Kit Kats are basically a wafer chocolate, and these don't have wafer in, so that's weird. Oh, look, there's the Batman Oreos. The buy, I am vengeance. I am biscuit. Um... Oh, that sounded a bit like Rod Gilbert. Oh, fuck me, my heart skipped a beat then for cri for criping out loud. I saw like this little flash of blue there and it's bloody sparks. Oh, look, there is more Mawam stuff. Yeah, so maybe, maybe they might get the tropical Mawam in soon. Um, yeah, oh God, oh, I'm so excited. Interested, to, oh, here we go, 36p on, what is that, Oaties? Is that like, um, is that like Hobnobs? 36p on them. Is there a cheaper biscuit than that? Obviously we got a pack for 20p. Rich Tea thing Fingers, 60p. Rich Tea, 35p, so that's cheap. 35p down the bottom for digestives. Mmm, yes. So that is the cheapest biscuit. Oh man, I just, I don't know what else we're gonna find for, for cheap cheap. Might need to go back and get those crumpets. Can't, I'm quite surprised that's the cheapest thing we found. Something like cornflakes might be cheap actually, mightn't it? Here we go, here's cornflakes. 85p for uh, a weight that I can't see of 750 grams. 60p, I assume that's 500 grams, but I'm struggling to see it. Check the label, yes. 500 grams. Some pots of uh, instant porridge, 40 pence. Baking uh, sort of essentials here, like sugar. I assume flour is somewhere here? Can't actually see it. Uh, eggs. Uh, yeah, I can only really see the sugar. What have we got here? Oh, so one kilogram of granulated sugar was 65p. Is that that there? Silver spoon. Uh, I don't know which one that is, to be fair. Can't quite tell. Here's the flour. So, seven. Brilliant, butter vision. 
Right, here's the flower, 70 pence. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is the aisle where I think we might find some crazy cheap stuff. The bachelor rice. Come on, bachelor rice. Do not let me down. Oh. 70p, guys. Man, I'm pretty sure I remember when that was like definitely like less than 50. Damn. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely surprised. Okay, that was going to be my sort of secret weapon. Hang on, there's 34p for some pasta shells. I am really surprised. I thought we were going to be finding some cheaper stuff. Baked beans, right? Baked beans going to be going to be cheap, right? 50p for soups. Spaghetti rings, 13p. That is the cheapest item I've found so far. Yeah, in fact, I'm not. What are the beans? The beans are 55, actually. It's a little bit more than I expected. Uh, oh, here we go. A small can. Stockwell and Company. Oh, so that's these ones here. Oh, that's these ones here. 22p. So that is actually cheap. Seeing as these, though, are literally the cheapest item I've found so far. Stockwell spaghetti rings. I'm going to grab them, see if they're any good. Also, earlier guys, I didn't show you. Again, obviously, I appreciate the difficult position that showing this puts me in when I'm talking about cost of living crisis and I'm picking up a Marvel shirt, but there is a Marvel shirt that I personally could not resist. Right, other than going back for the crumpets, I'm not sure I'm going to find anything else. Cheap, 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 cheap. Um, so yeah, I will probably go back and grab the crumpets and I also need to go and grab my, my drinks. Um, Oh, tin tomatoes. Good point, good point. What we got here? What are these? Okay, 28p. Oh man, all the bus vision. Yeah, 28p. That's not bad for plum tomatoes. Um, that seems okay, to be fair. So yeah, trying to think meal-wise what you could make with the cheapest items I've seen. We've seen things like spaghetti hoops, tomato. I don't think the rice was that expensive, so yeah, I don't know. Tomato, beans, uh, Crumpets, like, I'm struggling to think of meals we could make with that stuff, guys. Um, 35p for tomato puree, I've just seen. I, I, it's hard, isn't it? It's really hard, man. Oh, I guess the vegetables as well. They were cheap as well, weren't they? So, yeah, lots of veg in a tomato-style sauce. Maybe, like I said at the start, actually, maybe vegetable soup would be a cheaper thing that you could make in bulk. Appreciate you can't have bloody uh, vegetable soup all day every day um a good segue into the other thing that i mentioned earlier which was hot dogs so the hot dogs the buns were they 30p ish uh you can get a tin for 70p so that's a meal for probably a couple people for a quid so again that doesn't strike me as being too bad tins of meatballs here 65p and i think i'm back to where yeah i'm back to a rough not where i started but i'm back to areas that i have covered so i'm now going to grab the crumpets because they were particularly cheap uh, then i'm going to grab those drinks that i was looking for and then i'll wrap up the video in a second that's not true actually because i'm going to be eating the product okay i've got the 25p crumpets now to grab my ridiculous four pounds drinks well they've got pink what the fanta in here good to see this is good to see you can actually get the what the fanta in small bottles as well check out our video where we uh, decided what flavours we think they are, even though I think this is probably the hardest one so far, out of the green and the blue, and the sort of red one that we tried as well. But yeah, give it a go guys. I recommend the fun, enjoyable element of it. So yeah, certainly not the cheapest foods in Tesco is the pop soda from BrewDog. We've got Citizen Cola and Hazy Lemon there. I'm actually going to grab both, uh, maybe for some reviews. I am sort of concerned that I'm going to get cancelled for doing a cheapest items in Tesco video and then buying £4 soda. But yeah, I think I'm done now, guys. So we'll do a little wrap up and then we'll try the cheapest products that we found. So the next portion of the video I'll film in a in a day or a couple of days or whatever but we're gonna actually try the cheapest items that we bought i think i made out there with three items that were particularly cheap in the end and yeah just to wrap up the actual vlog section i'm surprised like how few items we found that were actually like very cheap so yeah big surprise quite eye-opening eye for me as um someone who is a little bit more privileged um you know, even Claire and I are making cuts here and there. We've been talking about what meals we can have that are cheaper than what we normally have. 
but for people who are really struggling out there it sort of highlights how difficult it must be so <sighs> yeah anyway let's try the cheapest food it's a couple days after i filmed the vlog now and i'm going to go for all, some crumpets for breakfast so run my mind blah, blah, blah. Oh god, a reminder that these were 25p. I'm obviously toasting the crumpets. So here they are, all cooked up. Um, they look and smell just exactly like any normal crumpet. Look at that, see? Toasty on top. It did take a little while to toast up. I had to sort of like put it in for one go and then do it for another half go, but it smells good. 25p, that's about just over four pence each. So it seems very cheap. Let's give it a go. Nice, but quite stodgy in the middle. Usually get that with crumpets. So I'm not really saying that's a bad thing. Just maybe marginally stodgier than the average one. Slightly less fluffy. But talking about marginal differences, this is perfectly nice and absolutely fine. Like it's not. I, I wouldn't have this and go, oh, I'm not getting this again, it's too cheap. Like, it's it's fine, it's nice, it's good. It's a crumpet. What more could you ask for, really? So I'm now going to round out this cheapest foods in Tesco video by actually trying the BB. This is the 20p biscuits. And also the actual cheapest product that we found, which is this 13 pence spaghetti rings. Okay, I've just opened the tin and um, they look... They look fine, other than the, the sauce is a little just off colour. I don't know if it looks a little, um, just not not vivid, not as vivid as you'd expect. Almost a bit grey. Smells sort of fine. Get these cooked up. Interestingly, if you look at the ingredients, it looks like the primary, you know, components it's, it's made up of are tomato puree. The glucose fructose syrup sugar salt and paprika um, oh and a bit of onion powder and flavorings actually so it does have a little bit more in there okay so I've now got it out of the microwave um, yes yeah, smells smells fine smells sort of just exactly as you would expect I think I've I'm, I'm not actually 100% certain I've ever had spaghetti hoops before but I have had like the Heinz spaghetti I've definitely had the Heinz spaghetti so that's basically what I'm expecting this to be like Give it a go. Oh, hot. The pasta shapes themselves, or the pasta hoops, really soft, which is nice and pleasant. Mm. The sauce is quite bland. It's fairly sweet. Not too salty. A little bit of tomato flavour, but definitely lacks the depth. It lacks the, the taste of the Heinz one. It's not quite as sort of Moorish. That being said, this is not bad at all. This is a 13 pence. I think for 13 pence, it's absolutely fine. And that is a good portion. Look, it's a big bowl of like spaghetti hoops and you'd have that on toast or whatever. Um, and I don't know if that would be like the kind of meal that people are gonna have to start having on or, or, or are already having. Um, but you know, it's not, you know, it's not that bad. It's, it may be right for me to say in a privileged position. Uh, I'd say it's probably better than I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, not too bad at all, really. Finally, though, let's try the BB Biscuits. 20 pence. The thing is, with these ones, 20 pence, but you'd sort of hope they'd be pretty cheap because it's not very big. They've got a bear on them, which is pretty cool, pretty cute. Oh, they smell slightly vanilla-y. Give them a go. Oh, wow. Really light and crisp. Not bad. A little bland at first. Very dry. Quite similar to a rich tea, but with a bit more flavor. And really dry. The flavor actually reminds me quite a bit of rusks. Um, which I think also might have a teddy bear on front actually, but yeah again, not bad. So yeah, that was it guys, that was our little cheapest items in Tesco, I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of biscuit. Uh, where do you want to see us go next for the cheapest foods? We have done the most expensive foods in Waitrose, maybe we should do the cheapest foods in Waitrose next. I don't know, or where else do you want to see? Thanks for watching, apologies if you need to cancel me for anything I've said in this video, and we'll see you next time. Cheers!